What's good, Josh? Your man, Dale Saint. Time for a Dale Short. I am on my way to see my doctor for a follow-up. As you guys know, I had a scare with high blood pressure. I have high blood pressure. It's, it's done. Don't worry. It's being treated. It's been treat. I've been under treatment for it, but I had a, a spike in my uh, my blood pressure. Just went through the roof it's a couple weeks ago, and I had, I had to rest. I had to just sit down, chill out, do nothing until it got under control. Uh, and I'm going for a follow-up. People, follow-ups are real important, extremely important, especially when you get old like me. Um, when you have an issue, you have a health issue, you have to take care of it or that issue will take care of you. You know what I mean? So please, please, please go out there and do that. Uh, drink water, drink water and eat right. The older you get, the more important that becomes. Please do that, guys. Please, please, please. We're losing too many people for nothing. Um, so let's get into this. Um, as you guys know, I mess around in the manosphere or as Rick Co uh, Rich Cooper calls it, the Mano Swamp. A lot of talk out there about the manosphere. A lot of talk out there about red pill. Um, you know, call it what you want to call it. But the red pill when it comes to dating and all that kind of stuff, man, is simply men are waking up to the current sexual marketplace. That's all it is. Ladies are waking up to the current dynamic. It, it, it isn't working. The math isn't sound. And people are like, well, it's working for some people. And then they go into the whole 50% argument, right? 50% of marriages end in divorce. That means 50% of marriages are successful. No, it means 50% 50, 50 of marriages don't end in divorce. They just end. <laughs> there might be a roommate situation, a sexless marriage type situation, and all the rest. So with all that in mind, just understand it is okay to seek answers and to come up with solutions to problems that you're having in life. A lot of people are struggling in relationships. Why? For tons of reasons. So don't be afraid, men and women, to better yourself, to go out here and improve on your romantic lives. It's fine. Um, you know, you, you hear the term red pill rage and all this other stuff. Yeah, that's all a thing. Men figure out that the, the, the rules are skewed and, you know, things aren't working out for them and they get mad. I understand that. It's all good. But fellas, you cannot live in that anger. Fellas, you cannot spend the rest of your adult life mad, <laughs> ready to, you know, refusing to go out and play with others. Like, if you don't want to deal with the current relationship uh, trends and things, the way things work in America, fine. You want to go try another hemisphere? That's fine, too. But you got to understand one thing. You need to have the basic knowledge of how it all works. And most of us refer to that as game. You got to have game, gentlemen. And how do you get game? Through various ways. But you have to get out there and practice your game, whatever it is. And all game starts with conversation. Gentlemen, y'all need to learn how to talk to women. Right? You got to smell good. You got to look good. You got to know how to talk to folks and be mentally sound. Right? This is all part of game. So, um... What I like to tell folks to do, especially uh, men, when you're out in a restaurant somewhere and you're you're eating or whatever, and it's a beautiful young server just waiting on you, hey man, try your game, try to flirt, don't be creepy about it. Be try to be subtle. Uh, your goal, your mission, is to make her laugh, a genuine laugh. When she sits back, and you can tell a real live uh, a laugh from a fake laugh, right? You can tell. When she's just kind of like, uh-huh, excuse me, I got other stuff to do. And then she's constantly coming over every moment she gets, she's going to come to your table because she's enjoying the conversation. Start there. Fellas, remember, this is just practice. This is just practice. The chances of a woman who's a server that's beautiful working somewhere in America, that you're going to come to sweep her off her feet, that that is very, very low. That's a very, very, you have a very, very low chance of actually starting a relationship with said woman. Keep that in mind. When you're talking to her, you're simply practicing. That's all. You're working on your game, right? That's all that is, gentlemen. 
That's all that is. Pay close attention to her body language. Make eye contact. You know, when she's engaged with you, is she really, is she looking at you? Is she curling and playing around with their hair? I was talking to a young, a beautiful young server uh, just last night. And, um, you know, just striking up a conversation, asking a bunch of different things. Uh, by uh, a little while, I guess at some point during the conversation, she's almost sitting in the booth with me. Like she, it went from her standing close to me to leaning on the chair to actually almost sitting down with me as we're having this conversation. She's laughing. She's enjoying herself. It's a little sparkle in her eye. That was it. Mission accomplished. I was able to practice my game successful, successfully. In the game I use, what you know, the the tool I use to get into the conversation, she was very exotic looking, and I couldn't figure out what part of the world her family was from, and that's where I started. I'm like, hey, I just can't figure it out, you know. I'm like, you know, uh, you know, uh, or your family Mediterranean, and it turned out no, she was part, um, she was part Puerto Rican and part Mexican, a, a beautiful mix, a beautiful young woman. And I was like, oh, I never would have guessed that. And she goes on to say, yeah, you know, so many people try to figure it out. I've had Ethiopians think I'm from Ethiopia. I've had, you know, people from Spain think I'm from Spain. And it went on and on and on. We're in the conversation. And we are talking to a waitress. If she's engaged in your conversation and she stays there, if she lingers to talk to you, that means she's into the conversation. If you start the conversation and she kind of like gives a nervous laugh and she's off to the next thing, or she's constantly looking around and she's going off to the next thing. She's not interested. She's not interested into that in that conversation. Nothing wrong with that. Cut it loose. You, you, you tried. It didn't work. Uh, see if you can find something out of that conversation that did work. And then next time you give it a shot, you can build on it. Right. So that's all it is. It's practice. You must practice these things, gentlemen. You must practice. So. You know, then it leads into relationships and all that. And that's like a whole nother thing. Relationships. Don't talk to me about relationships because I've not really had a lot in my life. Um, I know that it's sacrifice. I know when you have a relationship with someone, it's all about what are you willing to give up? I understand all that for the, the, those few relationships that I have been in. I only count the serious ones. I understand how hard that is. And we'll save that for another conversation. But gentlemen, get out there and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Don't be weird. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. I'm DL Saint. Peace.